everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, I'm gonna head on into the Immortal Codex and do my first attempts versus the Hellfire Emperor. The finest blood for the most untainted soul. All right, here we are. The Hellfire Emperor looks really cool. Obviously, it's Soul Kittens, so, you know. But we do have um, the reality of needing defenders, right? We've been waiting for this. We knew it was coming. And it's all about block and stalling them, right? That's all we need to do. So it's interesting because it's not like a normal fight where you're just trying to kill them. It's you're just trying to delay them for as long as possible. <laughs> So we are going to. You won't only hero only receives one point of damage from all heroes. What? Oh, receives one point of damage from all heroes. Yeah, it's like it, they try to make it so like you doing damage doesn't affect them. So that's kind of the point here. If we take a look at the rankings, it's pretty clear this is the defender show. If you didn't already notice, uh, Avalyn is our new queen bee of of this because she brings extra block. And you're going to see this, you're going to see Oleg's Wall and Guardian probably in everyone, I'm assuming. I mean, I wish, I wish I had more. Oh, Brooke here's exclusive. Ooh, fancy people. Kind of fun to look at the top people and see what they've got. But yeah, everyone's got the damage uh, reduction gear because, well, you want them to just sit there, chill, and take the hits, right? Or take, or stall, I should say. But... I don't have that much of that gear. <laughs> Let's be honest. I know I don't. Who the hell am I going to be using is the real question. So I started working on people. Um. Oh, I have to finish one. I actually don't have some of the key people like Titus. So that's interesting. We're definitely going to be using a Soul Day plus the Northerners here. Uh, I think I need to build up my Titus before I can continue doing this, but he's not ready yet, so maybe I will try to do this without him, right? Why not? We got Baron, we got Avalyn. I think Titus will be the final piece. I want to make sure before I worry about, like, I still have to go farm some chickens, as we, we used to call them. Um, I need to farm some fodder to get him six star. He's not even six stars, so... I tried this morning and didn't have enough resources, but I figured I would try without him. I do have him. We have Ardrath. Ardrath? Wait, Ardeath? Ardrath? Ardeath? Ah, he's almost the same as the other game. Okay, that's funny. I do have Orem as well. Uh, I also have Torador, who comes back, so that could be an interesting one. I could build the Torador. But yeah, we have to kind of see what's going to work for my teams. If you want to take a look here, you can get ideas of what people are using. That's what makes it great. Obviously, King Hars is the ideal, optimal, perfect defender. So you're going to see anyone that has him as a lord is using him. Regulus is also very good in part of most teams if, they, if people have him, it seems. Titus is here a lot too, which again is really cool to see Titus involved. But at the end of the day, I still got to build him. I still got to build a lot of people. But uh, I'm going to still see what I can do without Titus. And then maybe we'll have an updated guide once I practice some more um, and improve some other characters or farm more gear. Oh god, definitely need to farm gear aid too. And I don't even think it's an event, is it? This is, I should have farmed more gear aid too. It's so funny. I'm trying to see if there's any variations, but there's really not. It's like, yeah, if you have Cirrus, Cyrus... He's there. If you have um, Captain Rev, he's there. But at the end of the day, it's just a defender show. I'm not seeing any Toradors, though. I'm not seeing any um, of the Ardre Ardeath guy that I just clicked on. Oh, boy. I mean, it's, we're into the S pluses, and it's all the same people, right? All right, guys, so we know the reality. Let's go and set up our people and come on in. And if you're like me, you only have so many sets of Guardian, 
Look how desperate I think I might be, guys, for gear. So I'm not going to be doing top tier. I want to say damage, but no, I'm not going to be doing top tier um stalling <laughs> of enemies because this is the reality. I'm only on to my second or third person I was looking at, I think my third. And yeah, Baron had no gear on because I had swapped it to put it on like Araka to be a tank for gear raid three. And then who knows what's happened ever since then. And this is really sad, but this is the reality. We can't have everyone in perfect gear if you haven't farmed specifically really well for that. And uh, my god, I, ha I even just rolled things to 16 just so I had something. But I'm gonna have to do mixed sets, broken sets, random other stuff, rage regen gear, um, the healer set with HP. We're gonna have to do some different creative things because this is just not working. I think I'm gonna use Mariel instead of our dr our death. Uh, but this is my sad reality, guys. I have one, two Bastion rings. One I was starting to crunch to make one better, which I definitely regret now. And one, um, yeah, just chilling. That's level one, and I have no resources to level it up. Oh my god, I'm so not prepared. But this is gonna be most of us. Most of us are gonna be like, oh crap. This first round is gonna be the reality of us realizing what we don't have on our accounts. Um, the reason that we need this is block. This is gonna be all about block, like I said earlier. So the more Bastion rings, the better. And just a quick note, in case you guys are trying to find out why Avalon is so good, it's not in the skills, it's not in the awakenings, it's actually the promotion. Her promotion gives her an extra block of plus one, so she's already off to a good start even without a Bastion ring. All right, so we're going to be going in with very random, basic... A gear that's not crazy at all for any of my heroes. I am going to fully have everyone fully skilled and awaken five for all of the epics. Artifacts are going to be whatever I have built. So we've got defense here with um, Goddess's Grace. I'm going to have Olivia in here. She's actually kind of more built for the um, a mix of damage and tanking, but she ha this has a good roll of HP, so I kind of left it. And we're going to see. She's going to be our backup dancer. <laughs> She's not exactly going to be the star of the show. But you can only use what you got. And I don't have, like, all the meta heroes. So it is what it is. I just can't even help it. It is what it is. Uh, Baron is going to be in a Guardian set with some HP focus, but nothing crazy. And also a Bastion Ring. I did, was able to get that level 5. Isolde is going to be Bastion Ring um, fully skilled. And again... Guardian set here. Uh, I'm not going to use him right now, so I'm not worried about him. Titus I will build. I just need to farm. But I kind of think it's interesting to go in with the realistic approach of I got to use what I got, right? And you guys are going to be feeling that too. So Brokeer is in some HP and defense gear as well. He's not fully skilled and he's also in a Bastion ring. Whew, all right. And I really, I don't have Regulus. I don't have King Hars or Gon. Um, I do have some other interesting legendary defenders like these guys, but they're more, this is like attack or all well, he is defense based, but it's all about damage. I might bring him in if I need to, but I kind of think we're just going to roll with who I got. And that's my reality is going to be very relatable to you guys, I hope. Oh, I built more people than I needed. Okay, I don't need Livian, I guess, then. Okay, that's more people than I needed. So sorry, Livian, you're just going to chill on the sidelines. All right, well, that's fine. It's a good thing, because she's kind of mixed for attack anyway. But this is... Most people are not going to have every perfect defender. And most people are not going to have them all built, like, ready to go. So we got homework to do. To be fair, I did know what was coming. So I'm kind of bad in the sense of I knew what was coming and I didn't really, really, really prepare. Okay, so we need to stall these enemies and this is the ultimate choke point. So I think we're going to go boom and boom and stall them for as long as we can here. Avalon can stall one of the lower lanes. We'll have Mariel stall a lower lane. 
And I guess it's more like, which side is my weakest? Probably the side with Mariel. So I think I'll put Isolde over here. I thought we could put another person behind the Baron, but... Alright, so... Obviously people are gonna break through, that's kind of the point. And we can't do anything with the boss, it's just over time, right? Yep. I mean, I could YOLO, but then it's for at least the boss part real quick. I'm not quite sure with all the timings, that's the reality, because we got Freeze, that's not doing much. Increasing block is going to be important at the right timing, so I'll save a soul days. Um, this is like one of those weird ones where I feel like he's kind of... Okay, increases block by one. So yeah, we are actually going to use Oleg's ultimate for once. And then same thing here for... Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to need to use Baron's too much, honestly, to be fair. And yeah, we don't need to really worry about the healing, defense-based healing for Mariel, but... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so the boss is dead. Kind of, not really. Now we're going to boss rush phase. Boss rush phase. Um, I don't know that I'm going to stress too much about the timings because there's only so much we can do. So if I pop that, cool. And Oleg is blocking a few. There's more coming. Oh boy, oh boy. A soul day, where is she? Okay, she's oh I didn't I shouldn't have used a soul day then. But she's blocking extra. Mariel is now blocking extra. This is hard. Okay, how is Brokeer doing? I'm I guess I'll pop his ultimate. I really don't think we need Brokeer's ultimate. I know I need a Titus. I could maybe use a Torador because he comes back at least once. Ooh, we gotta definitely increase a soul day's block. Baron is only doing as much as he can. Yeah, this is hard. Without all the perfect meta heroes. And I even have Brokeer. Um, this really isn't doing anything, is it? No. This is going to be hard. Oh, someone's getting through. No. Uh... So how many can get through? How many are allowed to get through, I should say? Guess that's what I was missing. Each stack, all right. Or it doesn't matter. It's you have to survive. Oh, oh, like shoot! I needed that extra block. Oh yeah, we just start. So the we just start getting more damage done to us as the time goes on and as more breakthrough. Oh boy, stay there, soul. That you got this, girl. Baron, don't die. Oh gosh, Brokeer is going to freeze for no reason. It's fine. I can't believe we're still alive, honestly. I thought more of these people would be dying. Evelyn's about to die. Ah, no. I just popped him at the wrong time. Boom. Okay, yeah, once you really break through and they just start going at the boss, the boss's damage multiplier goes up and we are screwed. But an S plus on my first try, I mean... It's not great, but it's, I mean, it's good for most people are going to be pretty happy with that, right? Can we even see who did the most, who took the most, I mean, it doesn't really matter who took the most damage. She just kept healing herself. I guess that does come in handy because can, wait, can she heal? This is my reality. First impressions, guys. I'm just, honestly, I haven't. Okay, so the Hellfire Emperor summons monsters, compelling them to move forward. These monsters gradually lose HP, and upon their demise, they deal damage to the Hellfire Emperor when res while restoring HP to the nearest hero. It is imperative for heroes to prevent the absorption of these monsters. So, when we stop them, they heal us. But Ken, I think Mariel's heal was actually working then. I didn't think Mariel's heal was actually going to work. I thought we can't, like, heal ourselves otherwise. But maybe we can. Yeah, I guess it doesn't say we can't heal ourselves. So maybe Mariel's not so bad after all. <laughs> she can at least try to keep herself alive. Well, to be fair, she's the one that died first. But yeah, this is... This is pretty hard here. So I just barely hit the S+. Plus. Um, I've got a lot of work to do if I'm going to improve this, though. Because... 
I just don't have the gear and I don't have it rolled. I mean, it's kind of, I feel like it's my own fault because I knew this was coming and I didn't prepare. But luckily, here's the fun part. We have 10 days. Let me get myself out of the way for a second so I can show all this. We have 10 days. And with that in mind, I mean, we, we could test it, play with it once, see what's going to work for us. And then go work on those heroes, work on rolling up gear, go farm gear raid 2 if we can. And that sort of thing and prepare and get some more guardian gear. And maybe level up some of those artifacts as well. Or maybe get lucky and pull some more Bastion Rings. But it's kind of all about the block. So the more Bastion Rings, the better. So I'm really regretting more. I, I honestly totally did it without even thinking. Because I was just trying to make one of my Void Rift runs easier. And I started upgrading a Bastion Ring with promotions. And I shouldn't have even done that. I should have just left them and put them on whoever I could. Because the block is what we really need. But yeah, that's kind of what we're working with top six, even though I'm terrible right now. It's it's harder than I expected. I kind of thought it would be, but it's fun, right? Like, it's it's fun. That was just my first run, and I'm going to have to figure out the optimal positions, and I really want to build Titus. So I think that's kind of what you guys got to do. That's my best advice is look at what people are using. As we saw, we kind of, it's very clear. Um... The more budget options are Titus, Avalon. Avalon's in the top tier teams, though. But yeah, like Titus is probably the least obvious. It's kind of mixed in here with Avalon. And Oleg, Brokir are going to be great always. If you don't have um, King Harge, you're definitely going to use a Solde in the elite, a Lord spot. Regulus is going to be great. Cyrus is going to be great. And yeah. <sighs> At the end of the day, I have, like, I have no, I don't think I have any of these teams. Like, do I have, I was like, I have, wait, no, I don't. Over here, this is, like, my team. And then the best thing is SS Plus, ouch, this is, like, my people. We've got Baron, Mario, Oleg, yeah, this is literally my team, okay. But, does this person have Guardian on everybody? Yeah. They really do. I just don't know how it's possible. I guess I, I didn't farm enough gear raid, too, apparently. Or level up the gear. There's a lot of gear I haven't leveled, which will be helpful. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. It's like I could only do so much during um, an event, and now my gold is gone. So now it's time to go and farm some Gear Raid 2. Please give us an event. Oh, it is Gear Raid 2. Oh my gosh. I was like, we gotta farm Gear Raid 2, and it's not an event, bruh. It literally is a Gear Raid 2 event. They are setting this up for us. Okay, I'm gonna go do that and go. Far I have to farm XP raids today so I can level up Titus and I have to farm gear raid too. But we have 10 days to make this better. So what I will probably do is um, work on all my people and my resources. And then I will do an updated video trying to improve my run and see if we can get that S plus to at least an SS plus. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and checking out the boss with me. It's going to be interesting and just remember it's all about blocking at the end of the day so and then yeah as the dudes start to get through you're going to take more and more damage so damage mitigation is definitely helpful but all right guys i will catch you in the next video and just a reminder i will not be doing a friday summoning party this weekend again because we don't want to encourage people to summon you guys should be saving for next week because we know it's happening next week unless you're living under a rock Right? Right? <laughs>